This is 7 News at 5.30. Now at 5.30, tough testimony in the murder and kidnapping trial of the former owner of El Presidente Supermarkets, the woman whose lover was killed taking the stand, and she wasn't the only one. Hello and good evening. Police say this was a well-orchestrated murder. And both the ex-wife and ex-lover of the victim took the stand. Seven's Maricela Burgos live outside of the courthouse in Miami. She's got her top story. Maricela? And we know court wrapped up about an hour ago and what you'll hear in a few moments is emotional testimony from key people involved in this case. Day two of the trial for Manuel Marin, the former owner of several El Presidente supermarkets in South Florida. He stands accused of commissioning two men to kill his ex-wife's lover Camilo Salazar. Salazar's body was found in the Everglades in June 2011. You're not thinking that's possible. That's worst case scenario. That's not happening. Salazar's widow getting emotional as she describes the day her husband went missing. Looking for him, his car, um, and my, our best friends, Eddie, started going to hospitals looking for John Doe's to see if something had happened to him. He'd been in an accident. He's in trouble. This is something really wrong. Manuel's ex-wife, Jenny Marin, says he found out about the affair and confronted her about it. He approached me and asked, uh, told me that I needed to stop doing what I was doing. Okay. Or I was going to cause a disgrace. Shortly after Salazar was killed, police say Marin commissioned Roberto Isaac and former MMA fighter Alex Perdomo to carry out the murder. Authorities say Salazar was found with his throat slit and his head beaten. A dental expert took the stand to discuss his injuries. What kind of force would it take to make that kind of a fracture? Well, it takes a lot. That's, that's where the normal uh, chin, that's your chin point, and that's a very, very hard point, a very hard bone in the body. Perdomo and Isaac were found guilty of conspiracy of second-degree murder with a deadly weapon. Isaac also was found guilty on second degree murder and kidnapping. And court resumes tomorrow just after 9 a.m. Live in Miami, Maricela Burgos, 7 News.